Hi guys. The garden's all gone. It's all been chopped down. That, believe it or not, is my first and was my first pond. The one where we've videoed loads of newts over the years and frogs. But sadly, which is, became so iris and marsh marigold and lily bound that um, turned it into a bog instead. It will still grow the lilies and still grow the marsh marigold, but it's been filled up. And these are the three main ponds now. And there is a frog in here somewhere. I saw him earlier. But boy, was this a tough job to get all this chopped down. It's thick as you like, but it's all done now, ready for next year. And what are we in now? August 30th? We've still got loads of small solitary bees buzzing around in and out of the hubs. So it's not quite over yet. There's a guy there. Yeah, they're still busy. So the reason for this video, I thought we'd take down the old tree bumblebee nest from this year. And uh, you know, if you can see it up in there, and uh, take it apart and see what we can see in there. It's just in there. It's really become thick, this hedge. I'm just gonna reach in one second and grab it go okay so there it is there you can see that around the entrance hole which is a perfect sign that you've got tree bumblebees in a bird's nest you get basically feces of the of the tree bumblebees as they fly in and out they let go as it were and uh, you often get excuse the camera angles here you often get kind of splodges around there but we'll take this this roof off a couple of screws and have a look so I'm just going to get set up here just give me a moment there's something I didn't know which I only found out this morning was that we never used to have tree bumblebees in the UK they came here in 2001 in Wiltshire they were first seen and then in 2003 I think or maybe 13 but I think it was 2003 they were seen in Scotland so they traveled through the UK really quick and um, they're thought to be because of the prevalence of man-made habitats like bird boxes and which are their ideal as you can see here their ideal habitat and sort of nesting area and because there were so many being put out you know as people become more wildlife friendly and aware and wanting to see birds in their garden in particular putting more boxes up and uh, the bees would come I'm having a bit of trouble with this but uh, yeah, that, that's why I just assumed they were, uh, you know, it was a long term thing and they'd been here for centuries, really. But no, apparently not, which I found very interesting. Another thing was that the, uh, the house bees, which are the smaller ones, tend to be uh, earlier on. And as the life cycle of, of this particular bee goes, and that's probably the same for a lot of them, the bees tend to get bigger. And if you look back to that video earlier on in the year, you'll see that there were some particularly big bees going in and out. I think this isn't going to work here. I might just pull it off. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, that was very interesting to read. Now, here we go. So, if you can see, let's set this up so that you guys can see in here. That is the inside of the bee. There you go, look. Wow, you can see all the I'm assuming their egg cases there, which have broken open. I'm just going to turn up my brightness a bit so I can see the screen and see what you're seeing. So that, yeah, that, that's very interesting. They're all like almost little pods where the, the new bees have broken out. It's a terrible mess in there. I was advised to clean this out, so I'm glad I've opened it up. Because it is, you can see there on the on the left on the screen, the, the white mold. Um, now, I can't see any evidence of wax moths, but they, like a lot of bees, they can, can get predated by the wax moth caterpillar. Now, in the top left corner there, I don't know if you can see it, so up, up here, there is a bee. Now, I don't know if that's a queen. 
So I'm going to be a bit careful here. I'm just going to just going to give it a, a, a little prod very gently because it might be dead. Yeah, yeah, it's dead. So it would just get that one out actually, so you can see the, the bees a bit closer. If I just move some stuff around here, there we go. Yeah, it's nothing. There's nothing alive in there. It's good because that would have been a real short trip. There's a few dead moth, a few dead bees in there actually. So let's just get it out there. Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay. I have to wash my hands. So now there's another interesting point here. I just make sure that you are looking at my, where I think you're looking at. Yeah, there we go. So I don't know if you can see on the top the shiny thorax there. That's completely normal because they start off obviously really furry and covered in that brown hair. And as the time goes on, it, it basically gets rubbed off. And that's a good sign that this is a, a forager bee and not necessarily a house bee. I think that's the way it works because they're obviously going in and out of the colony, working their way in and out, in and out of the entrance. And they're doing a lot of foraging for flowers and stuff. And I guess it just gets rubbed off and you end up with the little bald spot there. That's interesting. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the bees close up. The queens are huge, they're like three times the size of that. I saw a few of those earlier, but there's none left now. So I'll, I'll give that a good clean out now. I'll, I'm not going to do it methodically clean and, you know, kind of not take everything out because I want them to come back. So I want them to smell the, the, the nest from last year. But obviously all of that gump in there, the old eggs, of which there is one that's unopened there that's interesting let's just get in there let's get a nest let's get one of the eggs out and show you that as well might as well i'm learning here as well because i've never done this there you go okay oh it is open well it might be it might have a an un where are we there we go if you can see that kind of casing there like an alien egg isn't it it's got a hole in the side but unfortunately the bee never got out of there it's still inside the hole I'll try and hold it a bit closer so you can see there you go and you can see inside there but there is a an unhatched bee in there so he never made his way out I don't know if there's any correlation to the sex or hierarchy of the the bee inside the egg because they're obviously some eggs are tiny in fact there's another one I'm holding there is completely unhatched the one in between my fingers so but obviously this one's a lot bigger I don't think it, it means it would be a female or queen or something but that's basically what the whole nest consists of here is is a structure made of that of those casings and wax so anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that and maybe learn something I'll now clean this up and uh, put it back in the tree so speak to you soon guys thanks for watching <laughs>